want to do a quick video today about making custom line types. Uh, if we look here in ARCHICAD under Options and Line Types, uh, we can see that there's a number of line types that come with any template that you're going to be working in, and some of these are more complex than others. Uh, but specifically, we want to look at some of these lines uh, here. Uh, for example, the lines with text involved. Um, if we want to create a new line type, uh, let's just take a look at one of these lines. Uh, as an example, so if we look at the VAC line, for example, uh, and zoom in here, uh, we can see that the line center line here lines up with the actual line itself. Uh, with some of the out-of-the-box template lines, this isn't necessarily the case. Um, uh, here we see on the cold water line, for example, that hot spot, uh, the node actually offsets from the line, um, and there's a <clears throat> there's a reason for this. Um, because the line is actually based on the total width of the content that's drafted in uh, when you cr first create the line. Um, so let's create like a property line type. Um, you're going to use lines and arcs, uh, not polylines or spl splines, to create this. Uh, and I'm just going to create some drafted text here that says PL for property line. And here, notice that the, uh, let's turn off true line weight, notice that that actually extends above. Um, so we can't have that. We actually want the total height of this to be no taller than um, the center point. Um, so from here, I can take this line and copy it down. So this is going to be the total height of my line. Um, and then I'm going to create that dash. Uh, we'll go ahead and remove that. And this is going to be my segment link. So now I have this content that's going to be my pattern repeating across. So I'm going to take that content, copy it, Command C to the clipboard. Uh, when I come back into my line types now, I'm going to create a new line, call it a symbol line, property line symbol, and paste that in. Um, and you can adjust the dash and the segment length. Um, generally something like this is going to work. Maybe you do have a little bit of a get dash in there. Um, you know, something like that. So now we're going to say OK. Uh, and when we apply that, it's always down here at the bottom. We want to check and make sure it's the right scale. So that looks about right uh, to what I had pasted in. You can always go back and edit it later. Um, and then the last thing that you want to check is that the setting for it is correct to scale independent with paper size. Uh, so that means that the height of this is going to remain the same regardless of what the scale of the drawing is. So if this is an eighth inch drawing, um, it's going to stay the same relative to uh, the content. Um, so it scales up or down with the, with the scale rather than maintaining um, its size, its original size. So that's really all it takes to create a custom line type. I hope this is helpful for everyone.